Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm the founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, your digital die cutting community, teaching you how to use each and every die cutting machine, as well as providing you with amazing cut files, fonts, and inspiration to use with the artwork. In today's video, we are talking about silhouette hacks you probably did not know. This is such a fun topic and we love sharing different hacks that we have for all kinds of different things. So be sure to leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to our channel, um, cause you're definitely going to love these hacks and leave us a comment on which one you did not already know about. So let's jump into it and talk about how to make reusable stencils. This right here is clear craft plastic and it is really awesome to cut in your silhouette machine to create your very own stencil. After you cut it through, you will have the plastic. It cuts great. And then you'll use some type of spray adhesive. If you want to use a repositionable spray adhesive, they do make that. But we found that regular spray adhesive gives a great stick and it does not leave the residue. So that's awesome. Um, and then you're going to have a great reusable stencil to use time and time again without having to invest in very expensive products that you know, you will not use too terribly often if you're like me when making stencils. You know, you just need a piece here and a piece there for all kinds of different things. But the main thing I love to use this for is when you're going to have to use it a lot. So if you're using vinyl as a stencil, that gets wears out really quick, but this is really long and lasting plastic. So that it's gonna last time and time again if you're working on a really complicated project with your silhouette. If you guys are really excited about this process, be sure to check out the video link down below right under our sign up button for our membership to see the full video on how you're able to use craft plastic to create a stencil. Our next hack is to be able to center your t-shirts and tote bags or anything like that really easily. It's super simple. What you're going to do is to take your t-shirt, fold it in half. And the way I like to do it is to take these two arm pieces, line those up like so, so it's in you know a straight line. And then you're gonna be able to take your easy press and hit it right in the middle. What this is going to allow you to do is create a line with your easy press or iron so that you can see the exact middle of the t-shirt without trying to have to pull out a measuring tape and then you will have that indentation with the heat. So then you'll have that line and you're able to see the exact middle of your shirt for the best placement. And then what I like to do is pull out a measuring tape and go roughly three inches from the bottom of the shirt. It is a great tip, especially if you are gonna be making lots of different t-shirts so that you're able to get great results every single time. And it is really easy to do, especially if you have an easy press and you are going to make a lot of tote bags, t-shirts, baby onesies, anything like that is going to be perfect. And we have a whole video on giving you tips and tricks on placement. So if you need help on that, check out that video link down below as well, because there's lots of tips and tricks involved in that video. Number three, weeding on the mat. You are going to want to make sure all the time when you're using your silhouette that you weed on the mat. It is the easiest way to have a third hand without having to involve anyone else in your crafting. It keeps your image positioned down onto your craft surface. That way you can focus in on really diving into the project and weeding it out. It is a really awesome way to create some really um, great results and it's a game changer for weeding. If you're like me, uh, before I was doing this, I was finding myself getting super lost and ruining images when I was trying to weed them because they wouldn't stay in place and it was hard for me to use one, a hand that I needed to weed to position it down. So if you haven't tried weeding on the mat yet, I highly recommend it and I think it'll be a game changer in your crafting with your silhouette. The next hack is reverse weeding. Now, if you are not already familiar with reverse weeding, again, there's a great video that Rachel has created right down in the description to teach you all you need to know about reverse weeding. We recommend it for any complicated project because it is going to secure your image down onto transfer tape first, 
and then you're going to be able to weed it reverse. So you're going to be weeding out all the pieces that you do not need after you transfer it all to transfer tape. It's hard to give you that visual, but I promise it is there. So be sure to click that link down below in the description that is talking about reverse weeding because it is a game changer. I was on the fence about it, but once you actually try it, it is really great to be able to change up your crafting with the silhouette. And for me, it actually made me feel more comfortable to do even more intricate designs with my machine. So you are going to love that and it is a lot of fun. So leave me a comment if you're a reverse weeder or not and if it's gonna be your first time trying, let me know how it goes. I'm excited to hear. Our last silhouette hack is when you're working with vinyl with any slick surface like ornaments, mugs, glass, ceramic, anything like that, you need to have alcohol to clean the surface. This will get all the oils, residue off your project so you're gonna have flawless results applying the vinyl down. It's gonna see a huge change in how the vinyl is going to adhere. It's gonna transfer better. You're gonna be able to remove that transfer tape 10 times better. But what it really will do will allow your project to stay onto the ceramic, glass, whatever that may be, 10 times longer and to get great results. So we put ours in a little, little. Um, it's called a dispenser pump right here. It is the perfect way. Two or three pumps will get you the perfect amount of alcohol for one piece of paper towel for every single project. It goes a long way, dries really quickly, and I usually like to clean the surface um, as my machine's cutting. So that's something you can be doing to stay productive while your machine's doing all the hard and heavy lifting. Am I right? So we absolutely love using alcohol, again, for all our vinyl projects with slick surfaces like mugs, ornaments, and things like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We are super excited about diving into more silhouette training videos. So head over to the channel, check out our silhouette um, training category and playlist. All of our cut files and everything in our membership works great with your silhouette machine. So be sure to check that out as becoming a member in the first link down below. If you are new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have you. So hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And we are so excited to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.